I was working further on the very, very simple shortwave radio. I also made a demonstration, say, two days ago or so, when I was receiving radio stations from Eastern Europe. I made a few tiny adaptations. The underside is now covered with tin plate. Uh, I've made here, say, a kind of spring, so that this uh, knob to tune the VFO doesn't wiggle. Uh, and I found a very strange effect when I connected um, this minus wire here to that minus wire here. Both are minus. Here there is a central minus wire. And here there is the positive lead. And the positive lead goes here to the other part of the circuit, the LM386. That is the audio end amp, approximately 0 0.3 watts. I found that, uh, um, say, the tuning changed somewhat. That is in a certain way logical, because both, uh, say, Earth wires can have an, uh, a capacitive effect opposite to each other. So, to uh, say, bring that effect down, kill that effect, I mounted here this wire. Anyway, not so much more to tell. Um, one small change was that here I used now a 1000 microfarad capacitor instead of the 10 microfarad capacitor that was in the earlier schematic. Uh, when you have, say, a very sophisticated shortwave radio, there's always, uh, there are always all kinds of noise reduction uh, switches. And I made in this simple radio also two ways of noise reduction. First, by using this capacitor here, 560 picofarad. Say, it's a kind of classical way of noise reduction. Also for audio. Here, the, that's the first uh, way that I um, had noise reduction. It's necessary, by the way, because sometimes when the noise level on shortwave radio stations is too high, you, you really cannot understand uh, what, what is said. Or the music uh, gets very noisy, etc. And the second more important noise reduction is here. It is that 10 milli Henry coil going to the loudspeaker. And when you are a little bit acquainted with electronics, you know that a coil, every coil, has a certain resonance. And this was in a certain way a lucky find. I found that using this coil here, it is uh, 10 milli Henry. When I used it, uh, the noise reduction was so good that the uh, radio stations on shortwave were much better intelligible. And I will demonstrate that. It has everything to do with the properties of a coil. Here is something about the properties of a coil. Every coil has a natural inductance and a natural capacitance. Even a small piece of wire has inductance and capacitance anyway. And the good thing is that with this coil here, I could shut out all the, say, noise here in the frequency band between, say, 100 hertz and, and 20 kilohertz. So that I had only this part of the audio band amplified at its best. And all the noise was pressed down has everything to do, of course, with the um, inductance. You can, say, amplify that effect by soldering here a capacitor parallel to that coil. I didn't do that, and, well, I, I did do that, but that gave problems. It acted as a kind of oscillator coil, so that was not the idea, not the meaning. I don't need extra oscillations. I only need an enormous noise level reduction. 
by the way, this is the old schematic. In fact, nothing has changed. Here is that extra capacitor. And here is now that uh, say kind of choke coil. It made the whole radio much more stable. Let's see and listen. And well, of course, always important that these effects, these effects are especially visible on weak radio stations. And I have uh, tuned to a weak radio station, say uh, five minutes ago, and due to the fading, it's now longer no longer there. But anyway, let's look for another radio station. Oh well, here it is. So let's see when we shortcut out this coil here. This coil. Do it now. So the sound gets very sharp, uh, perhaps it's oscillating, I really don't know, I don't think it's oscillating, only the noise level is left up to a very very high um, amplitude. And that of course disturbs the intelligibility of the sound. And especially when, when uh, there is someone speaking. The noise can be so high that the uh, the person cannot be understood. Anyway, try again to find a weak radio station. These are all strong stations. This is a weak radio station. This is quite weak. I think it's Arabic. Don't know. And let's switch uh, out the noise reduction. So you can still hear that radio station. And you can change the high frequency amplification somewhat. So, you can change the high frequency amplification to make it better intelligible. But, uh, when we use the noise reduction, it's much better intelligible. And also the signal on the scope is much better. So. It acts as a kind of choke coil, it also acts as a kind of noise reduction coil. And also, also say all the noise is gone. Switch the noise reduction off. Mm -hmm. 
Shout, shout out to her. Nerdy, Pato de Mary Dave, Rasa de Chaco de Chabá. Essa é a minha parte de Luna. So it worked much better. That's my conclusion. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the somewhat sloppy video. I, this is my second video. I made a, in my first video a small mistake in the schematic. I will publish the circuit as soon as possible. Perhaps I'm going to do some minor uh, adaptations. So this is the again the schematic of the end amplifier. And when you don't want to buy a um, 10 milli Henry coil, you can also make that yourself. On a steel pin here, steel pin approximately 400, 500 windings of very, very thin uh, isolated copper wire on it. Say ape hair. And then you also have that effect of, say, noise reduction. When you switch that homemade coil in into this circuit.